That is what we're after right there. Let's see what thump the sand flea. going on everyone Joey here and you can see it's evening time over here we are we are in the middle of seasons changing definitely done with summertime we're in Florida fall which doesn't necessarily mean it's cooling down but it means the fish means the fish seasons are changing I'm gearing up for pompano season because I love pompano fish and I pompano fish from the surf I pompano fish from the boat but one of the most important things of pompano fishing is having the right bait uh, where pompano will eat clams, they will eat shrimp, they will eat fish bites and all sorts of other stuff. The fish gum works really good too. Uh, sand fleas. Sand fleas are by far my favorite. And I like using them alive, but I also like stocking up and having blanched fleas. Uh, that is the way you can save fleas. If you just go ahead and freeze sand fleas, they don't last too long, too good. They, they crack when you go to put them on the hook. It doesn't really work very well, but you can stock up and freeze them, but you got to blanch them first, which is basically just a very quick boil. So today we're gonna go over catching some sand fleas, blanching some sand fleas, and then I even brought down a surf rod. Simon's down there fishing for snook with croakers, but I got my surf rod and I'm gonna throw that out for pompano, maybe get an early season pompano, maybe a whiting, something I don't really know. But first thing we gotta do is catch some fleas. So I'm gonna show you what to look for when you're looking for these sand fleas and let's stop talking, let's go do it. So first we gotta find the fleas. And what you're looking for is what's right here. If you can see the flat sand, smooth sand, all through here, and then right there, there's a school of fleas. Right here, you see the fleas popping up right there? Oh, that's a perfect example. They're happy, there's a lot of fleas around. Awesome time to go ahead and stock up on them. Um, we'll just walk a little bit before we catch them, but you can see them popping up right here. Real good school of sand fleas. Another dead giveaway a lot of the time are these little sandpiper birds. They uh, run around, and as the water recedes, they go down there, try to get some sand fleas before they come back up. So we're gonna grab a bucket, grab the sand flea rake, and scoop up some of these things. All right, we got Kyla with us. Come on, Kyla, down this way. Bunch of sand fleas over here. We're gonna wait, wait for the water to come up. So stay up here, Kyla. We'll get them on the next one. Tons of them right there, you see them all. And we're gonna let this wave come up, and we're just scraping the surface. Now go down there, set it in the water, and start scraping. So she did a little scoop there. Now tilt it up so it stands up tall. And I don't want it to hit you with a wave, so I'm gonna take it now. And we're gonna see what she got in here. We can see there's some fleas in there. There we go, nice little batch of sand fleas. So that is Kyla's catching <laughs> sand fleas. We're gonna go ahead and put them in the bucket. Sand fleas going in with Kyla's shell collection. So I'll go ahead and cast a couple of them out on the rod right now, and then uh, we'll catch some more. All right, so this rig, I have a float on the top, which I usually use for pompano. Little 1-0 circle hooks. I also have a smaller float on the second one. And then the bottom, I usually do not put a float on. I'm kind of trying to hit different, different levels of the water. Sand fleas away. Maybe we'll get a pompano. We got our rod set up right here, just waiting now. That's the Tsunami Shield on the Trophy 2 Surf Rod. Whole setup's about 200 bucks. Awesome, awesome pompano rod. 12 footer, gets it out real far. And I usually fish a four ounce lead. Now while we're doing that, we got the rod out there. Let's go load up on some sand fleas. The sand fleas will know when you're walking. So you kind of want to take easy steps until you're ready to really go after them. Right here, I got them coming. Let's see what we got in one scoop. One scoop with a not very big rake. That's good, that's good. All right, going for another scoop. We got them. Let's get more.
we're just kind of loading this up. There's a ton of them right here. Look at those please. So we got a nice little pile of sand fleas here, plus Kyla's shells. Uh, that'll be more than enough for what we're showing you guys today. We got a thump. Kyla's on. I'm crank it, Kyla. Nice and slow. You still on there? Yeah. You feel him? Yeah. Oh yeah. Whoa. Is he still there? What's going on? Dude, that thing is bending. Told Kyla to grab the rod. I went and grabbed the camera. Let's see what thumped a sand flea. Nice and slow. What do you think it is? Um, I don't know. Give me a guess. Ladyfish. Ladyfish is your guess? Yeah. Uh, ladyfish on the sand flea. Oh, wow. All right, here it is right here. We have... Kyla, it's a ladyfish. Yeah. yeah. How'd you know? Ladyfish dumped the sand flea. What higher? What do we got here? And how'd you know it was a ladyfish? Um, totally guessed? Yep. All right, set it down. We're gonna let him go. We're taking him in the pool. Uh-oh, you gotta grab him. Grab him and go put him in the water. How do I grab him? Just grab him, he can't hurt you. Take him to the water, go. Go, 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 all the way. All the way, 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 all the way. All right, good. Let him go. There you go. <laughs> keep, going, keep going, nice and slow. He's still there. I didn't see any jumps yet. What is this one gonna be? Um, I don't know. So these rods are 12 foot, which is actually pretty hard for a kid to handle. So I leave it in the spike and Kyla can go ahead and reel them in. And when we got three or four of these rods in the pompano running, it's actually very useful to have an extra set of hands out there. It's running down the beach sideways. You might have a little pompano on. Do we got a pompano? Pompanos like to run sideways down the beach and this thing's definitely going to the south. So I'm gonna start making my way down there. Let's see what we got. See what we got here, right here. If it was a ladyfish, we would be seeing it jump already. We have a double, I see a pompano. No, double blue runner. All right, so what happened on this one? Um, I, well, I guess you can see. Blue runners, right? Yes. All right. Look at that technique. We're back on again. Sand fleas, we're usually looking for whiting or pompano. We are getting everything but today with a ladyfish and a double header on the blue runner. But today we're just going to catch fleas to show you guys. This is all bonus. How's it going? Good. Right there. I mean, it's acting like a pompano, but so did that blue runner before. It looks like another blue runner. It is another blue runner. There are our sand fleas. We got them in the bucket right there. Nice little echo for you probably, but we got a pot on the stove with some salt water in it. Uh, just regular water from the sink, added some salt and we're gonna get that boiling. And once that's boiling, we will be adding some sand fleas to the mix. We got the water boiling like crazy. We're gonna go ahead and take some sand fleas and add them to the boiling water. Let's see, did I get the right amount? Perfect. All fit. Now, it only takes a couple minutes or a couple seconds really, more like 20, 30 seconds, just enough for them to turn red. It's just like shrimp do. Just gonna kind of stir them around a little bit and you can see like when you look at them let's find one that's already turning orange right here nice orange flea and what this does is it makes it so their shells aren't going to be as brittle when you go to thaw them out and use them for bait they'll be good 
People have crazy recipes for this. People do it all different ways. All I do is boil them until they all start turning orange. Then I'm actually gonna go ahead and set the camera down so I can lift this up and pour them into the strainer. There we go, a bunch of fleas right there. They're nice and hot, but you can see they turn this bright orange color, super hot. And we're gonna let them cool down for a minute. You can even spread them out on paper towels so they cool down a little faster. And then we're gonna go ahead and bag them up. So we got three bags of sand fleas here, and this is a good amount. This would probably last a normal person two days. A lot of times I fish with four or five rods on the beach with a couple people, and I go through a lot of fleas and I bring them offshore, use them as chum. But I do sell these bags. If I have them in stock and you guys want them, hit me up. I got my phone number at the end of every video. So let me know if you're in the Melbourne area and you need some fleas and the bait shops don't have them, I'm your guy. All right, we let them cool off a little. You can see I'm pretty loaded up on fleas. We got a ton of them in here. These have been in here for a little bit, um, but I'm pretty loaded up. I mean, I got enough for the season. I'll only go get more if I get people that need some. Uh, I use them for everything. Sheep's head, black drum. I bring them offshore. They're awesome chum for snapper, but we're all loaded up and ready to go catch some fish. 